out, it is definitely going to be an Oculus Research Center. That's awesome. <laughs> That is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we we already have um, well, well, Uber has a research center here in, in conjunction with Carnegie Mellon, of course. Carnegie Mellon with the yes. uh, the ETC and a lot of video game stuff coming on. Shell Games here, um, uh, really cool. Even smaller groups like 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 we talked to here, uh, looking for group, and there's some really interesting things happening around game development uh, from the small to the large uh, uh, size kind of thing. Uh, that's awesome that they're going to do uh, uh, some more on that. Now I was having a discussion actually with Chachi at lunch today. Uh, about the Oculus and everything, and 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 the idea that um, you know, hey, it's going to be more than video games. This isn't, doesn't need to sell a million and sell a bunch of Minecrafts for it to be successful. There are plenty of other applications for this, and I think that's what they're going to get into here. Uh, it says that the the quote from uh, nextpittsburgh.com uh, that they're uh, building a small team in Pittsburgh that will uh, focus on the virtual reality research. So uh, it'll be small but mighty. Uh, well, and right on, right on the heels of this, I think Samsung announced that they're going to put a VR st- recording studio in New York, like oh, wow. right in New York City. So there's going to be have kind of recording space to to record, and that's that's where I really see beyond the video games being able to be completely immersed in something like a debate. And and be able to be part of the audience, I think, is huge. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I think actually CNN did one of their debates in which you know they 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 had a version you could download onto a Samsung right. phone. Right, right, they did. And, and you, okay, um, it, uh, it was here. a it was a 360 video, uh, basically. So it was just like they put it in the back, but they said. Uh, the few podcasts I listened to that checked it out said that it was weird because you you're there, you see the debate in front of you, but then you see like the guy chewing gum next to you, too. Yeah, you know. And, and it, but I think that's the cool part, right? So yeah, and and that's where I think that it, it would be interesting, especially for the news. Think about it. You you're not only reporting on what someone's saying, but what what you what everybody doesn't see, right? That's right. What, did, what did the other person? What was the other person's reaction while person A was speaking? I think that's a good point. I think that's really cool to gauge both other other people debating as well as the audience. I mean, you get a full understanding of everything that's going on around that area. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll be interested right. to see, be only because you, you can figure out that the different the different ways in which they've tried to change the way we interact and, and we immerse ourselves in programming have failed. You know, 3D TVs, you know, it... You had ESPN, they had a 3D network that failed. Um, you know, obviously 3D and, and, and virtual reality are two different, you know, two different, two different concepts. You know, the question that I have is, are we already set in our ways that we, we don't require to break that, for, we don't need to break that fourth wall to get what we need out of it? And mm-hmm. I think when you find that game-changing way, because you're right, John, in terms of doing what I do, I think that if you can provide that other dimension, because you know the, the reality is, is, is you know we're we have to find different ways to, to do our jobs because politicians, especially you know like Donald Trump doesn't need the media. Donald Trump has you know he, he's a, with Facebook and, and Instagram. I mean you know he doesn't need to go to the media to get a message out. Nobody has to do that. You know you just you just pull your phone out, shoot a video, and upload it. So I think the, the, as we find new ways to augment what what our primary mission is i think it, it could be a good thing but you have to find that game-changing item and a game-changing technique that finally pushes it forward and, and allows it to to, to get, get critical mass mm-hmm. right i think if think if you could watch a game from either teams kind of like like in the nhl you, you, from 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 the seats that the team are sitting in, or if if on a football field you could go anywhere along the sidelines and right. watch the game from that perspective, I think that kind of completely changes the the viewers. Yeah, that's true. Willingness to to kind of then be completely immersed in there versus, yeah. I mean, three D can sometimes give me a headache it sometimes looks choppy and then junky i don't know it, but is this also is this also a feature that's for the hardcore and whatever the subject matter is much like you can get like the nascar package where it's multiple channels and each channel is the camera from inside one guy's car that's true there, for instance i mean that's, that's for, for the sure. hardest of hardcore now in contrast and i really wanted to find the article on this but i heard a really 
quick bit about what this was. But apparently, there, like one of the kind of research things was doing a like 360 video, and they were talking about, um, um, you know, putting you in situations so you will actually emote to things. Like I don't know if you guys have seen, uh, not fed up. What's the uh, What's the uh, the big uh, uh, the one that's about you know, like what they're doing with the chickens that, that that they're using that when we when we buy chicken from the supermarket, uh, Food Inc. I think it's called. And, and, and you know you see and you see all you know the chickens and, and how they're they're slaughtered and, and and how horrible it is. But what if like I think in this instance like they put a camera on a cow that was getting slaughtered in one of these things and yeah. you see from its perspective, you know what happens, or or in other kind of situations, you know. Um, you know, what, what, what's it like to be, you know, a, a hungry kid in, in Somalia or, or whatever the case may be, you know, uh, with Sarah McGoughlin playing the background probably. Uh, but you know, it, 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 and, and how, how that affects you because the comments from it were like, you know, like how scared you were, you know, seeing all this in the first person True. perspective, you know, it, it could be a thing to drive home a point like that, uh, in, in some way. I don't know how you do that on a mass scale of any sort. Uh, but, uh, but uh, it could be, it could be an interesting, uh, thing and, and do you, you know, cause it was something like that could be obviously upsetting, but that's kind of the point, I guess. 